6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. To all of the viewers, students, faculty members, to the Vice President, Dr. Ravima Arbayani, and School President, Dr. Noli D. Bayani, good morning. And welcome to the annual celebration of the National Crime Prevention Week. And I am Raisa Lef Tunay, a faculty of the College of the Criminal Justice Education, and your moderator for this morning. We are live via Facebook, so for more updates to our College of Criminal Justice Education, please do not forget to like and share. To formally begin our program, we will start by singing the Philippine National Anthem, followed by the Dosology and the Second CIA.
down the slope of Mount Kadi In the gateway of Bicolanja Stands our pillar of integrity Beacon of knowledge and our legacy Let us sing a song to thee River of joy and prosperity We're one in glory in adversity Our sick and see I with pleasure loyalty Santa Elena from Norte College Our alma mater of hope and dream Our torch of wisdom of how to play Oh beloved home we honor and Elena from Norte College, our alma mater of hope and dream, our guiding star and our radiant beam, as the children will forever raise their name. Santa Elena from Norte College, our alma mater of hope and dream, our torch of wisdom upon the flame, O oh, beloved home we honor and Santa Elena from Norte College, our alma mater of hope and dream, our guiding star and our radiant team, as the children will forever raise your name. Sick and see I, we hail and raise your name. Sick and see I, we hail and raise your name. Sick and see I, we hail and raise your name. Let us all listen to the opening message of our OSS Director, Sir Arden B. Villaflores. Character is the foundation of good and peaceful nation. Good morning, everyone. As we enjoy the nation in the celebration of the National Crime Prevention Week, it is also our fervent belief that character is the key to genuine peace and order. We cannot achieve crime-free Philippines when our sense of values are blurred, when our moral compass is, mal is malfunctioning, and if our character is grounded on shallow, if not shaky grounds. Second CI is committed to provide an environment to its community members where good character can foster. This webinar on crime prevention aims to equip you all with the information you need, thus making us aware on how we can safeguard ourselves from crimes. Our situation has changed that much with the emergence of COVID-19. Scary is the virus. The presence of criminal elements and activities makes our situation scarier. It is our hope that with this endeavor, we lessen our chance to be victims of crimes and could take an aggressive stance against them. Bilang educational institution, our contribution is the shaping of moral values building up a character so that in the long run our students will not be the criminals but rather the fighters and advocates of peace and order thank you very much and we are hoping that you will be having a learning day today god bless and good morning thank you for that sir Arvin. Yes, it is indeed our civic duty to find criminals and not to be one among them. Moving on, may we have our very own Dean of the College of Criminal Justice Education, Dr. Maria Joanna D. Blesser, for her welcoming remarks. Celebration of the National Crime Prevention Week every first week of September is pursuant to Proclamation No. 461, Series 1994, signed by former President Fidel B. Ramos on August 31, 1994, mandating the DILG as the lead agency in drawing up plans, programs, and activities with other interagencies. Good morning, everyone. 
It is an honor for me to welcome all of you to this 27th National Crime Prevention Week with a theme, Komunidad at Pamahalaan Magtulungan, Krimen, Korupsyon at Pandemya Labanan. In this time of ongoing uncertainty, we must find methods to stay on track and be wise in order to survive safe and sound. Second CI College of Criminal Justice Education, in collaboration with Santa Elena Municipal Police Station and the National Police Commission, National Crime Prevention Week Interagency uh, Technical Working Committee are here uh, because we have a sense of purpose and are committed to sharing and finding solutions to the rampant crimes in the midst of a pandemic. The current theme for this year's National Crime Prevention Week, Komunidad at Pamahalaan Magtulungan, Krimen, Korupsyon at Pandemya Labanan, is a reminder that peace and order and the public safety is everyone's priority. This is no specific time nor day to see. As our planet continues to suffer from uh, this protected catastrophe, we are united in the urgent need to safeguard ourselves those around us, and to leave no one behind. We are in a race against time as organized crime has spared all attempt to profit from this pandemic, from selling falsified vaccines to abusing people who have lost their jobs, to corruption and even drug trafficking. A strong complement of efforts from all sectors of society as well as active community participations is needed to establish a peaceful and orderly community. I am convinced that uh, by working together, we can reject hatred, protect our communities from this global threat, and maintain our core beliefs. We have all role to play in making the world a better place for everyone. So as the Dean of the College of Criminal Justice Education, uh, that caters our young dreamers to become future law enforcers and defenders of peace and, and justice. I salute and appreciate the, the work and efforts of the members of the Philippine National Police and uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines for putting their lives on the line to serve the community and to serve you and protect the lives of the people 24-7. Line up Activities from this year's celebration of National Crime Prevention Week includes a symposium, which will be happening later on. So I won't keep you uh, waiting any longer. So uh, on behalf of the Santa Elena Camarines North College Incorporated, I formally welcome all of you to the 27th National Crime Prevention Week. I, I wish everyone a fruitful, a fruitful and a meaningful day. Thank you, Dean, for that valuable insight with regards to our today's celebration of the National Crime Prevention Week. As mentioned, our security, of course, is in our health, is our main priority this time. We need to work hand in hand to ensure the safety of everyone. And now, let me introduce our speaker for this morning. He graduated Bachelor of Science in Public Safety at Philippine National Police Academy, RTPNPA, and undergo basic ICS integrated training courses or the BICS, ICS integrated planning course or the ICS IPC, ICS position courses or the ICS PSA, all hazard incident management team training courses, emergency operations center training course, and he has been an SAR team leader of the Pro 5 Task Force Vilanda that was on November 2013 and resource unit leader of the National Incident Management Team, leader for ASEAN. And he is now currently the Chief of Police in Santa Elena Municipal Police Station. Let us call on Police Major Kim Lawrence R. Arenas. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Uh, by the way po, uh, Police Major Kim Lawrence R. Arenas from Santa Elena Municipal Police Station po. So I was tasked po by Santa Elena Camarino Store, the College Incorporated, about giving you uh, crime prevention tips and as well as a message po para sa uh, ngayon pong panahon ng crime prevention. So uh, let me do that by uh, giving you a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Share ko lang po yung nasa screen po.
Okay? So in order to give you tips po para for the month of the crime prevention, I would like to discuss to you the principles of crime prevention. Meron lang naman po kung saan po ibibigay sa inyo na uh, principle para maitindihan po natin on how we could have a crime-free environment po or a crime-free municipality within the municipality of Santa Elena. Okay? So the first thing po sa ating pong listahan is the word target hardening. So pa ano po ba yung tinatawag natin na target hardening? Sabi po dito, making personal property harder for an offender to gain access. So paihirapan daw po natin yung criminal offender na mag-gain access po sa atin pong lugar. Okay? So paano po ba natin gagawin yan? So by upgrading your locks sa doors and windows nyo or kung meron po kayong mga business establishment, buildings, and others po, so we upgrade po yung security measures natin like doors and locks. Yan. So hindi lang naman po yan, uh, you can also use door jammers and window jammers po para kung sakasakali po na wala po kayo sa loob ng inyong mga tahanan, uh, at least po secured pa rin ang inyo pong lugar. So, hindi lang naman po nangangahulugan na target hardening, doon lang po tayo, uh, ito ay applicable lamang po only to our houses. Even in our bank accounts and social media accounts, target hardening could also be linked. So, ano po ba ang gagawin natin? Uh, we could secure our password. So, palalakasin po natin yung mga password natin sa social media accounts. Uh, Pwede tayong magkaroon ng dual password or kaya ilink po natin yung ating mga accounts sa ating pong mga cellular phones. Okay? So number two po, sa principle po of crime prevention, meron po tayong tinatawag na target removal. So it means that ensuring that a potential target is out of view. So minsan po, uh, naiiwanan po natin sa loob ng bahay in plain view site yung ating pong mga valuables such as yung cellphones natin, yung mga laptops natin, yung mga ganda po natin yung mga sapatos at mga damit na medyo po hindi maganda po sa pangingin ng mga criminal offenders. So what we do, i-remove po natin yan out of plain view or site. So halimbawa ho yung kotse natin, kung pwede natin siyang tanggalin para hindi na po makita or lagyan po ng tint para hindi po siya kanais-nais sa mata ng mga criminal offender, we do so po just to remove kung ano man po yung tatargetin po nila. So next on our principle is to reduce the means. So it means removing the items that may not commit an offense. So minsan po, may mga naiiwanan tayong gamit sa paligid na nagagamit po ng ating mga criminal offenders para po makapasok or makabreak in po sa ating mga bahay or sa ating mga lugar. So by not leaving tools such as ladders, nakikita po ninyo, uh, yung syempre yung mga gardening tools natin, minsan may mga batong nakakalat. So minsan kinakailangan po i-remove po natin ito. Kasi ito po yung mga nangaakit minsan sa mga criminal offenders para makagawa po ng masama. So ipiprevent po natin yung mga bagay na ito by removing those items in our environment. Okay? So number four po, you can reduce the payoff. So it means reducing the profit the criminal can make for the other uh, for making an offense. So paano po ba natin gagawin iyan? So kung meron po kayong mga property, mas maganda po na ipangalan po ninyo yan sa inyo. So pag naipangalan po niyan sa inyo, uh, hindi na po makakagawa ang mga criminal offenders na maibenta yan kung kani-kanino lang dahil alam naman po natin na sa inyo na nakapangalan ang property na binili ninyo. So ganun din po, uh, we could also reduce the payoff by not buying property you believe to be uh, believe to be suspected to be stolen. So wag po tayong bumili ng mga nakaw na bagay. So pag hindi po natin tinolerate ang mga kriminal sa pagbili ng mga nakaw na gamit, napiprevent po natin yung krimen. Okay? Number five po, you have access control. So ano po bang ibig sabihin nito? Looking at measures that will control access to a location, a person, or an object. Yan po. So titingnan po natin, ano po ba yung means and ways po para makapasok sila sa loob ng bahay? So by means of access control, 
Uh, i-improve lang naman po natin yung sistema natin. So, kinakailangan ba mag-lock pa tayo ng door? Kinakailangan ba mag-lock tayo ng window? Ensure natin, uh, pwede po tayo mag-alagay ng additional security such as building walls around the house and put, uh, putting po security system around po sa ating vicinity ng ating house. So, you can create po uh, barriers. Yan. Kung sa business establishment naman po, if you could hire security guards, yan. And then, kung gusto po din yung magdagdag ng additional security measures, pwede po kayong magkaroon ng uh, electronic security measures such as ID cards, yan, mga fingerprint scanner, and others po. So number six yan, is surveillance. So nakalagay po dito, improving surveillance around homes, businesses, or public places to deter criminal. So paano po ba natin to gagawin. So, consider po mag-add kayo, pwede sa inyong mga bahay or sa mga business establishment, i-consider nyo po adding CCTV cameras. Lalong-lalo na po kung meron po kayong business around commercial site. Yan. We could also establish neighborhood night watch. Uh, yung syempre, uh, mga tao po in the streets. And then we could also communicate with others po kung sakasakali po may mga nakita sila na hindi po kanais-nais na tao sa kanila po mga lugar. Okay? Number seven po, you have an environmental change. So it means ensuring your property and wider community looks cared for you. So ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng environmental change? Yan. So paano po ba natin gagawin yan? Halimbawa na lang po, doon po sa inyong area na walang ilaw, which is common ni po, uh, nagagamit po ng criminal offenders for their advantage. So, reporting issues such as broken street lights or wala pong street lights sa inyong area could prevent po the crime. So, by reducing po uh, yung chances nila by setting up street lights around the vicinity, uh, mapipigilan po natin yung uh, ating pong krimen sa lugar. Okay? Number eight po, Setting rules. Ito po, kalimitan po, mas maganda itong gawin sa inyong bahay. So changing our habits by setting rules and posi uh, positioning signage in appropriate location. So yung pagturo uh, po sa ating pong mga kapatid na mas nakabata sa atin na magsara or maglak ng pinto kapag matutulog na. Yan. Or even po kahit lalabas ng bahay, ganun din po maglak ng door. So we put up signages just to remind them na sana po ilak po ninyo pag kayo po ay lalabas. So it, this will help po prevent the crime po. Okay? So number nine, increase the chances of being caught. So increasing the likelihood that an offender will be caught to prevent crime from occurring. So ano bang gagawin po natin dyan? Yan nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina. We add security measures. So kung kinakailangan mag-add ng CCTV cameras, kung kinakailangan maglagay ng early warning device, uh, yung ating pong mga motion, uh, motion detector, lalong-lalo na po sa gabi. Yan. So we increase the chance po of uh, cutting criminals by adding a lot of security measures po within our area. Okay? And then ang pinakalas po sa principles po of crime prevention is deflecting offenders. Uh, ito po ay nangangahulugan to deter an offender or deflecting their intention. So paano po ba natin yan gagawin? So kung meron po kayong kakilala within your vicinity or within your area na suspected po ninyo na gumagawa ng masasamang gawain such as po as uh, pagnanakaw and others, uh, pwede po kayong magsumbong sa nearest police station nyo or even po sa si inyong local barangay officials. So by doing this, uh, we can create po uh, a safe community po within your areas. Okay? So uh, let me give you a tip po. So on how uh, I memorize po this principles, simple lang naman po. Ako ang ginagawa ko. Uh, just remember, you should always know the situation around you. So by gathering data, yung mga chismis po ninyo, yung mga information po around the vicinity, around your area, 
uh, nakakakuha po tayo ng tip ano ba yung mga kinakailangan nating iwasan sa loob ng Santa Elena. So halimbawa po, sa Santa Elena, the prevalent crime is uh, commonly rape cases. Pero hindi nangangahulugan po na rape cases ay marirape na po kayo sa daan. So titingnan po natin, magsasurvey pa tayo, magdidate agadid pa tayo. So it so happens in our data po that most of cases po ng rape within Santa Elena is incest. Ibig sabihin ay kapamilya or even uh, kinakasama. Uh, yan. yan po yung mga commonly rape cases po natin within Santa Elena. So paano po ba natin yan piniprevent? Yan. So common yung ginagawa po natin dyan is we build partnership among stakeholders, among the community. So nakikipag-usap tayo, nilelecturan natin sila, nilelecturan din natin yung mga possible na magiging criminal offenders you know, uh, to prevent as such yan, by installing uh, ideas to them on how to prevent at paano ba natin ma masusolusyonan yung problema sa pagdami ng take cases sa Santa Elena, uh, we, can, we are making a big change po. Okay? We are making a big change in preventing the spread of crime. Okay? So, yan po. Uh, hingi lang po ako ng konting tulong sa inyo. Uh, please po, help us po in um, uh, Peace po. Uh, meron po kami tinatawag na PNT Global Coalition of the Kodbayat Advocacy Support Group and Force Multiplier. Please po, support lamang po yung programa po ng ating chief PNT. So ano po ba yung Global Coalition of the Kodbayat Advocacy Support Group and Force Multiplier? So ito po ay is, is a type of community organizing. So binibuild up po natin yung grupo such as yung kayo po, estudy mga estudyante, mga kabataan. Uh, others po, yung may mga, may mga business, yung grupo ng magsasaka, grupo ng manginisda, or other groups po na pwede pa natin buuin uh, para po matugunan natin kung ano man po yung problema na kinakaharap po ng inyong grupo. As well as dahil na-build up namin na matulungan kayo sa inyong problema, ganun din po ay matulungan nyo rin po kami sa problema namin sa pagsubo po ng krimen sa ating pong lugar. So yan po yung purpose ng ating Global Coalition of the Code Bayad Advocacy Support Group and Force Multiplier na sana po supportahan po natin. So let me end po my message uh, with a simple statement. So the best time to fix the roof is when the sun is shining. So this is um, a statement po ni John F. Kennedy. Na nagsasabi po na kung pwede pong gawin na sana natin ngayon, ay mas maganda po gawin na natin po ng mas maaga. So let me end po my statement uh, by saying keep safe and secure ngayon pong time of the crime prevention month. Uh, ganun man po, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo. Muli po ay isang ligtas na hapon po para sa ating lahat sa kapanukunan po ng crime prevention month. Thank you very much, sir, for your exemplary discussion you shared with us. And we appreciate you making time in your busy schedule to speak on different tips of crime prevention, especially for our dear students who are joining right now. Once again, thank you, sir. To give us a closing remarks, may we call on our assistant registrar, Sir Renante Kadai. As a citizen, it is our duty and responsibility to make ourselves safe from any crime. Kami ay lubos na nagagalak dahil nababahagihan tayo ng ganitong pagkakataon at ganap sa buhay. Maaaring sa iba ay wala lamang ito, ngunit para sa atin at sa second CI community, ito ay napaka-importante. Sapagkat ito ay nagbibigay daan upang makiisa sa ating pamahalaan at komunidad na imulat at paalalahanan ng mga responsibilidad at obligasyon nyo bilang isang Pilipino. Making ourselves aware of the things happening around us saves a lot of lives. 
Right now, we are in the middle of war. Yes, a war. War against COVID. War against drug. War against crime. And war against ourselves. Bakit war against ourselves? Sapagkat mahirap kalaban ang sarili, lalo na sa pagdidisiplina. Relate kayo, di ba? I-check natin ang ating mga sarili sa atin nagmumula ang pagpapaalala ng mga dapat at hindi dapat gawin. Kung kaya naman, isang pasasalamat sa ideyang ito na maibahagi at imulat ang mga kabataan ito at ng ating komunidad sa mga dapat nilang malaman at gawin. Aking tatapusin ang aking pagsasalita sa isang paalala. Ang isang komunidad ay magiging ligtas kung tayo ay magtutulungan at makikiisa sa pamahalaan na labanan ng pandemya at krimen sa ating kapaligiran. Ang pagiging mapagmatsyag ay isang katangian na dapat nating pagtuunan. Iligtas mo ang iyong sarili, iligtas mo ang iyong pamilya, at iligtas mo ang iyong komunidad. Ang simpleng pamamalagi sa ating tahanan ay napakalaking tulong sa ating pamahalaan. Muli, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat and wish you all a blessed day. What a wonderful message coming from the Assistant Registrar Sir Bong. Thank you for that again, sir. Yes, as a citizen, we should make ourselves aware of the things happening around us. Um, so that ends our program for today. Thank you all for being with us till the end. We will see you again for the next year's celebration of the National Crime Prevention Week. Have a good day and stay safe, everyone.